Hi everyone, sorry for the break. I um, didn't do any videos over the weekend. I'm still not feeling great after my surgery. I feel I've got a bit of vertigo. My body just doesn't like surgeries altogether and it takes me a while to kind of get back to myself. But I have been dying to have a look through these two trays. It's not might not be a very long video, but we're gonna have a look through these two trays. So yeah, let's get right into it. Thank you to those that have watched and subbed so far and I hope you're enjoying them just as much as I am going through them. So let's start from the top up over here. I think there's quite a lot of sterling pieces in here. There's a little brooch with a pearl. And that's Mark Sterling. Some really lovely pieces in here. There's a little bluebird. Of course my cat's coming. He always jumps over the fence since I started a video. There's a little bit of enamel loss there, but it's still very pretty. I don't think... Oh yeah, that is. I didn't think it was sterling silver, but it is. There's silver there on the back. Really sweet. This one's lovely. It's like got a cut, um, turned finish. Looks like it's hand done on the, the front. And that marks sterling as well. Very nice brooch. This is lovely. I actually saw this on the day and it was a shame that it's actually missing a stone here, a little marker site. That's actually sterling silver too, and it's a pendant as well. I might be able to, um, oh, that's actually missing a couple. There's two more that's missing. Might be able to take this to my lady that does the repairs and see if she can pop a few marker sites in it. But that is really gorgeous. There's this lovely one. It's not sterling, but it is enamel. I think they're chrysanthemums. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they, I think they are. My mum always had them in her garden when I was growing up. Yes, puss. Rubbing on my legs as usual. This one here is marked Sterling. It's another one of those filigree ones. Really pretty. Like I said, I've got quite a lot of those. This one's lovely. The clasp is broken, which is a shame. It can still be worn. It's still got the C clasp portion there, but it looks like it was a barrel clasp maybe that was broken off, or maybe not. It's a 1950s rhinestone piece. Let's go down the rows. This is another filigree sterling silver one, but this one has enamel, little butterflies, marked silver here. Very sweet. Oh, I'm going to piece this over. Another sterling silver and power shell. It's marked there on the back. Mexico. They're in lovely condition, the pieces in here too. This is interesting. So quite an old one. It's got a safety chain. It's made, I think, of mother of pearl. It looks like it may have had something joined across the front here originally. That's very unusual. It's kind of got a bit of a blister pearl appearance on the front with this section here. Still very lovely. And this one is marked silver as well. That's a little bow. Sterling silver, I think. Yep, sterling silver. It looks like the little hole here would have had a safety chain at one point. It's not there anymore, but it's still very lovely. This is sweet. It's not sterling silver, and the clip is pin is actually broken. But it's a ballerina. She's lovely. Yes, puss. Don't know if you can hear him talking. He's chatting away behind me. This is a cute little bird with some power shell. I believe it's sterling silver as well. It looks like there's some marks just up around here. I'll have a closer look with my loop later. Yes, boss. This one is a 1950s loose sight piece. It's not silver, but very unusual. I've never seen one like it. It's another Siam sterling one with an elephant and the grey enamel. Six marks I am sterling. Probably have quite a few pieces of this in this collection. I've found quite a few so far. This is nice. This one might be gold. I can't see. It's really filthy on the back. There is... Oh, no. This is... Sometimes I can see it better through the camera. I think it says nine carat silver lined. Yes, it does. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite dark. 
It's a little horseshoe one. This would be quite early Victorian piece. Yes, push. There's a little, it's Mark 95 sterling silver elephant pendant. He's very cute. Look at his little trunk. And this actually I did see is one of my favourite pieces in this whole collection. It's a cicada. Well, I think that's what it is, a cicada. And it's Mark sterling silver. But it's so lovely. I love the detail in his little face. And it's got a bit of a gold wash on, on some of the um, parts of the wing. But so, that's so lovely. I haven't done any research into these pieces, but something like that would be quite a high-end piece, probably around the four to $500 mark if I was to sell it, but I won't be selling that one. This one here is signed Barks. It's a rhinestone pin. Looks like there's no stones missing. It does have the Bark signature and then the serial number. In the back. Another little 1950s wreath pin. Little circular one. Nice condition. The stones are all present and none have gone dark. This is cute. I can't see because I might actually take him off the piece of cardboard. I'll just tear it off quickly. Oh, yep. He's Mark Sterling on the back. Here's a little elf pin. With enamel. This is lovely. Sterling silver. Nelly. Ha ha. I know someone called Nelly. But it's, I think it's spelled differently. But how gorgeous is that? Sterling silver. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. This one's sterling silver as well. And it's one of those butterfly wing pieces. I've got quite a few of these as well. They tend to have these, um, either the pieces that I've got have either got these Hawaiian-y sort of scenes over them or ladies, like that crinoline, crinoline lady with like the bonnet type look. It's a lovely, sweet one. Beautiful condition, these pieces so far. This one's lovely. Looks like a Mexican piece. I don't know if it's Zuni or I don't know a lot about it. I just see people mention them in um, videos. Um... Oh, what's his name? There's a guy that I follow who's always getting these turquoise pieces. And um, I can't think my brain's mush today. But gorgeous. It's got lovely turquoise and coral and mother of pearl. This one here is marked gold filled on the back. Lovely stones. Actually, there's a there's that piece there tucked up too. Oh, yep. Yeah. So there's two bits that are supposed to dangle. It's got like pink stones and then... Thrift Hunter, that's his name. <laughs> Thrift Hunter, tell me what this is. Sorry, my brain went completely blank for a minute. And I couldn't remember what your name of your channel was. So I know he's just found a whole load of turquoise recently. So if you know what that is, please tell me. I know he's been watching my videos. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's a lovely gold filled piece. This is a sterling silver shell cameo. You can tell because when you look through it, it's clear. It looks like it's got a bit of a crack, but I don't think that will detract from it because the crack doesn't go through to the front. Really pretty. We have a micro mosaic piece. Blue Bus Dave likes his micro mosaics. I'm throwing out a whole bunch of YouTubers today. He's always looking for the micro mosaic pieces when he goes out hunting. This one's Mark Czechoslovakia. It looks like it did have a um, safety chain at one point, but part of it's come off. That's a very cute little insect, though. Nice piece. There's another rhinestone pin. Might get it out of its packet because it can sit in here safely. It's very lovely. Again, lovely condition. Another micro mosaic piece. This is more like the pieces that Blue Bus Dave looks for. Really lovely. And it's all about condition with these pieces. If this piece is missing, there's one little tiny white piece there missing, but it, I don't think it detracts from it. Really pretty. Sometimes they're marked Italy on the back. This one's not, but that's where they're all from. Very lovely. 
There is this sterling silver butterfly or dragonfly. So it's a dragonfly marked 95. It's got some aquamarine kind of green stones in the corner and two cubic zirconias. There's a little marcasite sterling silver kangaroo. Very cute. This is just a rhinestone pin. Might have to speed up a little bit. It's going a bit slow today. There's this reverse carved glass cameo. I like that it's faceted around the front as well. It's actually really pretty. It's got a oh, it's got a ninety-five dollar price tag on. It's a little bit exy. This is interesting. It looks like again like there's something missing from the front. And that may be gold or it might be gold filled. I will take it and have it tested. If it's gold, because the pieces of whatever's on the front is missing, I'd probably just scrap it. Which is a shame because it's lovely. This one just looks gold filled and it's got like a citrine, like a dark orange or amber coloured citrine in the front. And next we have, well this is interesting, it looks like it's not sterling silver, just a rhinestone brooch, but it's like a staff with a, um, a snake on it. Or it could go that way, like a bar pin with a snake. Now the neighbour's dog's barking. There's some old pieces in here, just a dress clip, I don't think that's sterling silver, no. Missing lots of stones, but I'll give that to my lady and she'll repair it. This one here is marked sterling silver. And it has a little enamel birdie, which is sweet. I don't know what this type of bird is. And a little rhinestone. There's a very old pin of the queen in her younger days. Queen of England. There's this one, but it's got a broken pin. So it's a little vintage brooch, but it's got a broken pin. It's funny, like I said, there's so many different pieces in this collection where there's really nice pieces and broken pieces and things mixed together. This is a mother of pearl birds. See, that would be worth putting a new pin on. They're really lovely. Nice carved ones. There's no damage to the actual um, carving at all. Um, this one's Max Sterling Silver, Power Shell, a marlin or a swordfish. And there's this little, just a rhinestone or just a costume pin. It's got some enamel. And then this is like... um. Cabochon, maybe glass cabochons. Pretty. These two are shell. Again, maybe mother of pearl because this is where it gets closer to the inside of the shell. Correct me if I'm wrong, somebody. That was like a starfish, and I think is that a G? A G, maybe if it's that way, or yeah, it's pretty anyway. And then over here we have a little. I'm going to take it out. I think it's a sterling, yes, Mark Sterling little key. And we have this one, which is marked Israel, and it has blue enamel on the back. Oh, and 925, so it is sterling. And this is really interesting with the fish. So, yeah, they're really lovely pieces in this tray. Really, really, really nice. I'll just oh, close it up and change it over and move on to the second one. Oh, which way does it go that way? Let's get this one open. Looks like there's a few more silver bits in here, maybe some earrings. We'll start from the top again. There are some sterling silver earrings. They're pretty. Unusual shape. These ones are Mexico. I don't know if you can see it. Mexico sterling silver and they have turquoise chips. There is, these are sterling silver too. Where this is likely an amethyst and I don't know what this is trying to be, maybe a tourmaline or something. But they look like natural gemstones. These ones are really lovely. I spied them through the box. I probably wear these ones. Oh, these are signed Mexico as well, if anyone knows who that maker is. And they're really large ones with amethysts. 
I'll actually keep those out to wear. Looks like there's more Mexico ones here. Again, if anyone recognizes the maker. And on, oh, on the front, they're the same. They're just like these little circles with a little lightning bolt at the bottom. They're different. What does this say? These are sterling silver and turquoise. Not, no marks for Mexico, but really lovely. Pretty pieces. There's a single coral earring. I don't know if that's gold, actually, that earring, because the post is gold, so I will test it. Because the actual post itself is gold. So if the post was silver, then I wouldn't bother. But I will test that for gold. There's this pin. Hang on, I'm just going to have a closer look. Oh, that says nine carat. So that's a little gold pin. With blue stones that could be sapphires and seed pearls. I have to have that tested for sure. Really lovely. Sometimes the old gold can get similar tarnish to sterling. So it's always worth having a closer look. So another gold pin. Here we have a, oh, I was going to say silver, um, single earring, but there is another one. There's two earrings. They're lovely. They're obviously silver. Yeah, they got 925 stamp just there. There are some dragonfly. Also Mark Sterling silver. Oh, I'm dropping them today. Earrings. There is this bracelet, which is looks sterling silver to me. I can't see a mark on it, but it looks silver. We'll test that one. It's pretty. Oh, there's the other earring for that coral one. So, And it does have a back on this one. Let's see if this back's marked. No, but it is dirty as. Ew. I will have to... um. I was having a bit of a closer look, but I can't see without my um, loop if it's marked gold. So we do have two of those earrings. That's good. We've got a, another pair of turquoise earrings. This is actually a really nice pair with turquoise drop as well. No marks, like no maker's marks. These ones are the Siam Sterling too. So you do get all really different designs. It's this kind of little lady figure that you look for to know if it's Siam Silver. And this is double-sided enamel, which is nice too. So you get it front and back. Some amber little cross earrings. These ones are turquoise. These are actually really pretty. I'll keep a lot of these out to wear. Oh, there's a couple of pairs hooked on here. Whoopsie. Just to hook that off. There's this lovely pair. It looks like it's got little moonstones in. And then I saw another pair of turquoise ones, which are really lovely. So I would wear all of these. Come summertime, they can look gorgeous. I wear a lot of blue and white. So I like a bit of turquoise. And the last pair are this pair, which are kind of unusual, little balls. Never seen any, anything like them before. Also sterling silver. So yeah, that's these two trays done. Sorry, it's only a short video today, but I'm still getting back up and around. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm really shocked at how much my um, view account has grown. I'm up to about 350 now. So I'm really, really glad that other people are um, finding my channel and able to enjoy the pieces as much as I do. Let me know which is your favorite piece from here or if you have any information about um, things I maybe skipped. Thank you very much again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.